because your call is semi-important to us. Good morning, Wendigo Solutions. My name's Olympia, and I've just been handed this rather lovely chocolate bar. Thank you, Eugene. That was weird. Right. Yeah, and I'm still here. How can I help? Jesus Christ. Sweet Kate McCann, that's Moorish. Yeah, no, you'll need me to send Carlos out to you to install that, Mr. Pat. Oh, no, bugger off, Eugene. Where did you get these from? I'm flipping out over here. Eugene, can you take one of these to Hilda? It's 11.30. She's probably stealing the ultra-heated milk pots and putting them in her purse. Mr. Powers, why did you bother buying all that shit if you have no idea how to put it in your computer? What do you need all that RAM for, please? Minecraft. Says he you're 37. I'll grow up, you big bellend. Yeah, it's fine. I'll send Carlos out to you. He can do all that for you. He's new, but... He knows how to work a tool around a unit. Yes, those are compatible with your system. He won't have any trouble doing that, don't worry. Yeah, you can render your graphics twice as fast. It'll be all HD and shit. I'll put him through it. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Mr. Powers, what is the proverbial way of saying this? You're a cunt. Good morning, Slut Droppers Anonymous. What are you saying, Steph? What is my favourite number? No, I don't have one, because I'm an adult. What is my favourite colour? Well, fluorescent beige. Steph, you're doing a Cosmo quiz. That's not going to help you get laid, Steph. The only way that magazine's going to help you get laid is if you roll it up and gently press it against your Fufu O'Hara. What did you get from the canteen? No, I haven't eaten yet. I've only had one of Eugene's delicious morsels. Oh my God, I'm reliving it. I could get what? The all-day breakfast. Now it's 11.30, they probably stopped serving it. It looks like they've got a croak, miss you. And the soup of the day is Ben de la Creme of Tomato. Good morning, wingo, bingo, bango, where did my hand go? Hilda? Yeah, have you booked your time off yet? You better hurry up, because you know how Linda likes to schedule in her trips to Butlins. I could almost cry for her. <laughs> Are you going to the States? Ah, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, me and Bernard did the States, you know, hired a car, let the wind get through our hair. We did North and South Dakota, we did New Jersey, West Virginia. Bring me back a souvenir, Hilda. Not a fucking fridge magnet. If you get me a fridge magnet, I will make you swallow it. Good morning, Wendigo Solutions. Yes, no, that is fine, madam. We have got a range of spyware suites to suit every middle-aged lady who spends five minutes on Internet Explorer, clicks every pop-up going and ends up with 17 different search bars. Have you phoned through to us before? Can I take your name, please? Brittany Minogue. It, what? Why did you change it to that? That's your given name. How old are you? So you're telling me your mother had the prescient foresight to name you after the greatest pop entertainer the world has ever seen? And also Britney Spears. Steph, what's your favourite Britney song? Like a Prayer, Jesus fucking age. Steph, who are you speaking to? No, don't order from them again. God, remember that oscillating fan that we got? It was a pile of shit. The stand just spun round and the fan didn't move. No, I'm still here. Madam, have you at least heard of the aforementioned Queens of Pop that you lend your name to? At least they were after your time, though. You didn't have to put up with that in the playground. Yeah, I, I once called Mary Motherford Harry Butford in front of her mum, and she did not like that. She punched me right in the Yuha Hamasaki. Well, yes, Steph, I have used a lighter foundation. Thank you for noticing. Someone thought I was Ivy Levan on the bus. I also get Adele, you know. Who do you get? Um, Danny DeVito. Ellen Burstyn's big toe. Actually, I quite like Ellen Burstyn. We watched The Exorcist the other day. <laughs> Remember when we had to exercise Linda? Uh, turns out she was possessed by a grumpy bitch. Hilda, have you been listening the whole time? Oh my gosh, no. I didn't know you had to use holy water. You were the one that told me hydrochloric acid. Yeah, I can't believe she didn't press charges. I felt invincible that day. I broke into a museum in like a cat suit. I bent myself under a laser, a la, you know, Katie Zeta-Jones and Entrapment. God, that movie was great. So underrated. It's an absolute crime she wasn't nominated for that. Yeah, no, Linda bounced back. She's happy enough these days. Although she couldn't find her tenor lady this morning. It was quite the period drama. Yes, I'm getting my head down, Linda. Don't worry. Don't you worry about me. That's not fair, Linda. You know I'm not very productive from October to July. He'll review Matt Carlos. Carlos, the new guy. He's Ramon's cousin, wouldn't you fucking know it? 
They look similar, actually. He's got Ramon's birthing hips. Oh, he's trying to reach me, actually, Hilda. I won't be a minute. Just go back to stealing tea bags. All right, sweetheart. Carlos. All right, doll, what's going on? Oh, he's unhinged. Oh, no, pipe down, Carlos. Pipe down. Is it down? Good, yeah, you don't want to end up like Whitney. Ah, oh, Carlos, you're stuck in the arse end of nowhere. He's supposed to be sorting out Mr. Power's computer in Luton. Where, where's the set of taking you, Carlos? Bangladesh? He might be better off getting a bus.